What's going on, everybody? It's your main man, Moss Chaos Show. I've not seen Master Quad, aka Easy the Jedi. Back at y'all again with another video regard man 20 content. And today we got the theme diamonds. So, some really good players that came out. We're going to take a look at who's in the game. And then we're going to jump over to the auction house and then take a look at uh, some of the players and the overall and stuff like this. Whoever thought of whoever thought of this right here was really let's turn this up just a little bit okay i guess anyway whoever thought of whoever thought of the uh theme the theme uh diamond players they they really really good so first off we got um he appeared in a Super Bowl, I want to say, two times as a starter. And I'm thinking that he won. He's one and one as a starter. And I know he, was he on the team with Eli Manning when they went to the Super Bowl and won? I'm not for sure. So I would like to say he's two and two. Or maybe he's one and two. But I know he was on a couple of Super Bowl teams with the Cardinals, I think with the Giants, and I know for sure he was the uh, quarterback who came out of the Arena League for, um, he's, uh, he played for the uh, St. Louis Rams, which is now is the LA Rams, okay? So now we got uh, Peanut Tillman, he was pretty good in his day. Uh, Corey Dillon, I think he appeared on the New England team when they won against the Panthers, I think it was him and Antoine Smith or something like that. I'm I'm not for sure, but I know he played with New England too. So the Bills, we got uh, who was that? Andre Reed, stellar uh, wide receiver, appeared in the Super Bowl four times with Jim Kelly. Um, Jason Elam, I seen him play. He was a really really good kicker. He held the record for the longest uh, kick in NFL history for a while. Otto Graham, he's back in Madden. Joe Jaravicious was part of that Super Bowl team with uh, John Gruden took over. Uh, Tony Dungy's team took him and played the uh, Raiders and beat them. Uh, Darnell Dockett, last time I seen Darnell Dockett, he signed with the Niners as a free agent and then something happened. He didn't get a chance to play. Um, I prefer that they would have used Sean Merriman instead of uh, Phillips. But well, Phillips is pretty good, though. Brian Waters. Uh, Dwight Freeney. Really good. Really good uh, pass rusher. Him and Robert Mathis was real, real good. Um, they won a Super Bowl with Peyton Manning, his first one against the Bears. Uh, Renfro's back in the game. Uh, Patrick Sertain is really good. Seeing him play is pretty dope. Uh, John Runyon, Jesse Tuggle. Now, see, this is the thing. If Madden, if Madden brings Jesse Tuggle back, right? Why can't um, why can't we get um, Jeremiah Trotter for the Eagles? Because they were both hard hitting uh, middle linebackers. And the Niners, of course. This card is near and dear to my heart. Mr. Chicken ch doing the chicken dance. Martin Hanks was part of the '94 Super Bowl team. Uh, he shared the safety. He was the free safety, and, Mc, and Tim McDonald was the strong safety. Um, so I'm, I have that power-up card already. Jason Seahorn is, if, if you're a real true blue uh, football fan, then you should know who Jason Seahorn is. He was a real nice uh, cornerback for the Giants. He's a color commentator for Fox for a while. And they got John Henderson. So I know for a fact later on down the line they're going to have Stroud. And that's real good for the Jaguars. Mm, juggle that yarning again. Um, what, what about Mark Brunel, Fred Taylor, uh, Jimmy Smith, Kenny McCardell? There's so many other players you can go to. Wayne Corbett was pretty cool. I like Wayne Corbett. He's a good slot man. He was like Wes Walker before Wes Walker and Amandola and all those guys. And uh, who was it? Wes Walker and Julian Edelman, one of them type of receivers. 
Of course, Schlesinger, fullback, so that's pretty dope. Donald Driver was part of the Super Bowl run with Aaron Rodgers. Um, John Cross, uh, Rob Nikovich, Casper. I actually met his son at a Starbucks in Walnut Creek. Um, Adam, T Adam Timmerman, Chris, Mc Chris McAllister. He was on that uh, Ravens defense when they won the Super Bowl. Uh, Clinton Portis, you could go all the way with him. He was on a team with Sean Taylor. Then he got traded to the Denver Broncos. Now this right here, he took over for Ricky Williams when they sent him out of town to um, Miami. Dukes, McAllex there, he was part of. Was he on the team when they won the Super Bowl? Dukes, McAllex there. Oh, what's his name? I, I'm not for sure. He was on the team. But I know he's a long tenure saint. Good, uh, he played with uh, Robert Brooks, too. Um, Lofa Tatupo, he was part of the Super Bowl run when they lost to the Steelers. He was the, he was, he post-dates the Legion of Boom. So those of you guys who don't know, Randall Well was a quarterback turned wide receiver. He has a Super Bowl with the Pittsburgh Steelers. I believe he was there when Ben Roethlisberger got his first one. Uh, Derek Carr's brother was the first round, uh, first, I think it was the first overall draft pick for the, out of college for the Houston Texans. Because I know for a fact that the first pick that they got in the supplemental draft was uh, Tony Baselli, former uh, number, number one overall pick for the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, Bullock, Keith Bullock was a good, hard-hitting linebacker. Um, and Matt Burke, okay? So we'll just run over some of the cards. We won't go into too, you know, into depth because we don't want to make the video too long. We already got six minutes in. So we'll just go here, and they got a solo that you can do. That house rule stuff, I, I quit on that, man, big time. So, <clears throat> Diamond. We'll just take a look at some of the players, not all of them, but we'll go. So for the, the big fish, really good, really good, really good passing stats. 91 uh, deep accuracy. So he's the best. He's currently the best quarterback in the game. Okay. Decent. Not bad. He's at 89. 200K. So I want to see what the hit power is on this dude. Hit power 87. Woo-wee. And you can get him up. So all the cards, you can get them up to a 90 overall. That's the word around the campfire. But it's self-explanatory how to do it. Auto Graham, I'm pretty sure he got high. I think he got high trucking. His passing stats is not bad. Can we get a Steve Young card? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Another solid player. What you got? Driver on speed. 87. Okay, 87, 87. That's not bad. These are some really good cards. I was crying the other day about, you know, them not having... Uh, a plethora of different cards to pick from because the game is getting kind of stale, you know what I mean? Uh, so 84, 86, he's a big corner. He got good man, good zone, good press. That's pretty cool. The game is getting a little bit stale, you know what I mean? Because <clears throat> I hate to say it over, you know, this video, but Madden has become monkey see, monkey do. 84, 84, 83. Uh, carrying truck, 89 trucking. So this car's going to be really hard to stop. And he's six foot one, uh, 63 catching for a running back. That's kind of decent, I guess, at this particular point in the game. Okay. Elam, it's real. He's, he's going to be. I'm not. What was. Um, Robbie Gold was the highest overall kicker in the game, I'm thinking. Maybe. Nah, 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 nah. Somebody. It was the uh, other two kickers that came out. The other kicker that came out. Okay, so that's not bad. Uh, let's see this guy right here. Yeah, I know I got to look at the IB. Yeah. Hmm. He's more, 
I don't know. Let me see. I don't want to false advertise this card right here. I don't know. I guess he's just going to be like stopping a run or something because with those poor stats that he have, he, he ain't going to be able to send him off the edge. Maybe if you add some um, abilities to him. So like this is a good, and I, I, I bet you his archetype is slot too. Slot guy, good catching, good jumping. It's an 80 jump, 4, 5, 10. It's not bad. He gonna wreak havoc. I, I can almost guarantee. Watch, watch, watch his IBB high. Ooh, we seventy eight. Well, I guess because he's an eighty eight overall, huh? But I'm I'm pretty sure this car's not done. If you got it, you know, it's got a power up, so it's not done. These cards are gonna be super glitchy later on down the line. Okay. Good zone. I like that. And he's a 6'2 corner. I love big corners. My man! Yeah. 84-84. Good speed. He ain't got no hit power. Tackle is 75. So he's going to be mainly coverage. Look, 87 zone. He can't man worth the, worth the garbage. I, I got a user pick with him when I play with him. I got him to currently 82 overall. Big docket. Got to look at the IB and I'll tell you if the card is worth it or not. See, look, his 84. He's gonna be he's gonna be creating some problems in the middle. 84 tackling. Okay. So he's just gonna be like sideline to sideline. I'm guessing he got. His speed is not that good. I wish they would have put him in the middle. I think he plays the middle, too. What is his? Hit power. Hit power 75? Ooh, for 200K stay. I don't know. Well, I guess I guess it's cool because they got the Kim. You know what I mean? I know he missed some, but we're going to double back. 6'5", 86 jumping. He's a possession, dude. Yeah, he's going to be deep route running. I'm telling you, Joe Vicious, he played with the uh he played with the New York Giants for a little bit too. Man, theme team's going to be killing it this year. Did I miss anybody? Okay, Rob Nico. That's just I know I said I wasn't gonna do it, but we'll look. Okay. Ref, he always play good. Good zone, good man. So this is, this is gonna be a really good corner. I might pick him up. I might pick him up. Not this card, but his power up if I can get my hands on it. So that should be cool right there. All right, that's going to conclude the video. If you guys like what you heard, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell for your main man. I upload on the channel as frequent as possible. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section. Talk to your main man. I'll talk back. Please don't get catfish buying these packs and watching, watching these channels telling you guys, oh, go out and get the Find the players that suit you. At this point in Madden, it's... How can I say? Some, pe some people can get sucked in with holding on to players for too long. If you have, if you don't think that you're going to keep those guys for a long time, then use them, try them out. If you don't like them, sell them. I'm telling you because it's going to be better content coming down the line. And that just shows, that just showed today with this new um, uh, theme, Diamonds. Those players are, some of those players are really, 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 really dope. Like, they switched it up. We didn't get the same... Um, even though as they started to drop the game, the, you know, you got some of the regurgitated, um, legends, which make the game pretty still, but all those players, you know, minus a couple of them are, you know what I'm saying, are new. So that's pretty good. So find which player that you like, try them out. If you don't, if don't fall in love with players, unless you intend on keeping them like myself, because I'm a Niner fan. Like I said, that's my mission to buy up all the Niner players and have them on a team fully powered up. But anyway. 
I'll see you guys in either weekend league. I thought that was coming out uh, yesterday. I missed it. I had some things going on, some personal stuff. So um, I don't know. But I'll see you in either weekend league, head to head, or back on my channel. Or if I see you in one of those house rule games, I'm going to light you up. I'll see you on the next one. It's your main man, Most Chaos. You are not seeing Master Quad, a.k.a. Easy the Jetta. And I'm out. Peace, peace.